Ever noticed how the crispy $100 bill you stashed away a few years ago doesn't buy you as much today? That's your hard-earned money melting away due to inflation. But fear not, we have got you covered. Today, we're diving deep into a world where your money doesn't just sit idle, but dances and multiplies. By the end of this video, you'll know about 10 solid assets that can help preserve and even grow your wealth. These aren't just any assets, they're tested and trusted by experts and designed to weather the storm of economic uncertainty. Because let's face it, in our unpredictable world, your financial security is more important than ever. So buckle up and let's embark on this exciting journey of financial wisdom together. Now let's tackle the elephant in the room, the downside of holding cash. You might think that keeping your earnings in cash is the safest way to preserve your wealth, right? Unfortunately, it's not that straightforward. Money, much like a loaf of bread, can go stale over time. You see, the buying power of your cash dwindles over time due to a silent wealth killer, inflation. Inflation is like a thief in the night that quietly erodes the value of your cash. Consider this. The average inflation rate is around 2% per year. This means if you stash $10,000 under your mattress in a year, you've effectively lost $200 of its value. And in 10 years, your once substantial $10,000 would be worth only around $8,100. That's nearly a fifth of your savings vanish into thin air. So sitting on cash might feel comfortable, but it's a game where you're set to lose over time. Stay tuned as we explore ways to protect your wealth from this stealthy enemy. So how do we fight this stealthy enemy inflation? The first warrior in our arsenal is stocks. Stocks represent ownership in a company, and when you buy shares, you're essentially buying a piece of that company's future profits. Sounds thrilling, doesn't it? Investing in stocks has long been a popular choice for wealth accumulation. It's not just for the Wall Street wizards, but for us regular folks too. The S&P 500, an index of the 500 largest U.S. publicly traded companies, has had an average annual return of around 10% since its inception. So if you had invested that $10,000 into an S&P 500 index fund, instead of letting it sit under your mattress, it could potentially grow to about $26,000 in 10 years. Now, compare that to your shrinking cash pile. Now, I know what you're thinking, but stocks are risky, right? Well, you're not wrong. Stock prices can be volatile, moving up and down in response to a company's performance or broader economic conditions. But remember, with great risk often comes great reward. If you play your cards right, spreading your investments across a diverse portfolio of stocks, you could see substantial growth in your wealth over the long run. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow into a thriving tree. But instead of apples, this tree gives you, well, more money. Just remember though, stocks are a long-term game. You've got to be patient, hold on tight during the stormy days, and not be swayed by short-term market fluctuations. And it's not about betting on the next big thing, but investing in a range of solid companies that have potential for growth or provide steady dividends. But hey, don't just take my word for it. According to a study by the Federal Reserve, as of 2020, about 53% of Americans are investing in the stock market. So the secret's out. It's time to let your money do some heavy lifting. And now we march onto our second knight in shining armor, the more composed, the unflappable bonds. Bonds are like that reliable friend who always has your back. When you buy a bond, you're essentially loaning your money to an entity, usually a corporation or government, in return for periodic interest payments and the return of the bond's face value when it matures. Sounds neat, right? Now, what makes bonds particularly interesting is their inverse relationship with stocks. When the stock market is on a roller coaster ride, bonds usually remain stable, offering a sense of security amid the financial chaos. That's why they are considered a safe haven during stormy economic times. But let's not get carried away. Bonds, like any other investment, carry risk too, such as interest rate risk and credit risk. The key, my friends, is to not put all your eggs in one basket, but spread them across various asset classes, thus balancing risk and reward. It's a game of chess, not checkers. So, are you ready to make your move? Now, prepare to meet the chameleon of our financial jungle, mutual funds. Why a chameleon, you ask? Well, just as a chameleon changes its colors to adapt to its environment, mutual funds allow you to diversify your investment across a wide range of assets, thus helping you adapt to the ever-changing financial climate. Simply put, a mutual fund pools money from multiple investors to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. It's like going to a buffet, you get a bit of everything. Let's take a moment and think about this. What if you could own a small slice of hundreds of different companies across various sectors without having to buy each individual stock? Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Well, this is precisely what mutual funds offer. 
They provide a way for smaller or individual investors who may not have enough resources to diversify their portfolios on their own to still gain broad exposure to the market. And it's not just for the small investors, even savvy investors relish the diversification and ease that mutual funds bring to the table. Plus, there's a professional fund manager keeping an eye on your investment. It's like having your own financial Sherlock Holmes. Next, we're rolling out the red carpet for our fourth asset, real estate. Have you ever heard the saying, don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait? There's a reason it resonates with so many investors. Real estate, whether it's residential properties, commercial buildings, or land, has been a favored asset class for centuries. It's like that vintage wine. It generally appreciates with time. You see, real estate can provide steady cash flow in the form of rental income, and in most cases, it appreciates in value, delivering a solid return on investment when you sell. Furthermore, investing in real estate isn't just about making money. It's also about diversifying your portfolio and creating a safety net for turbulent times. When the stock market gets hit with volatility, your real estate investments can help balance things out. Of course, real estate investment doesn't come without its risks, market fluctuations, property management woes, and location, to name a few. But with careful planning, diligent research, and a little bit of patience, real estate can be a lucrative venture that bolsters your wealth and safeguards your hard-earned money. So do you see yourself as a future real estate mogul? If you find this content valuable, then kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's keep going. Now that we've got the property market covered, let's dive into a type of investment that has been a trusted friend for thousands of years. Yes, you guessed it, it's gold. Why is gold considered such a hot commodity in the investment world? It's simple, really. Gold is universally accepted as a store of value, it's easily converted into cash worldwide, and it's a worthy opponent against our stealthy enemy, inflation. Gold has a remarkable trait. It shines especially bright during times of economic uncertainty. Have you noticed that during a stock market downturn or a recession, the price of gold often goes up? That's because investors see gold as a safe haven during tumultuous times, a lifeboat in a sea of economic turbulence, if you will. When other investments are shaky, gold remains relatively stable or even increases in value. It's like that sturdy lighthouse that stands strong, guiding ships amidst the stormy sea. Plus, let's be honest, there's just something enchantingly timeless and mesmerizing about this shiny metal. But just like everything in life, investing in gold comes with its own set of challenges. Gold doesn't produce a regular income like stocks or real estate. It just sits there, looking pretty, and its value only increases when there's increased demand or inflation. That's why it's crucial not to go overboard and turn your entire portfolio gold. Like in any sound investment strategy, balance is key. Remember, folks, too much of anything, even if it's shimmering gold, can weigh you down. Stay tuned as we journey further into our list of assets. You won't want to miss what comes next. Trust me, the road to financial freedom is paved with more than just gold. All right, let's take a walk on the wild side with our sixth asset, cryptocurrency. It's the new kid on the block making quite a stir. If you've been tuned into the financial world recently, you surely heard the buzz around Bitcoin, Ethereum, and countless other digital currencies. But why all the hype? Cryptocurrency, in essence, is digital or virtual currency that uses cryptography for security. Now, I know that sounds like we're venturing into some sort of sci-fi territory, but bear with me. This revolutionary form of currency operates independently of a central bank and is built on a technology called blockchain, which is a decentralized technology spread across many computers that manages and records transactions. It's like having a public ledger that everyone can see, but no single user controls. The appeal is its potential for high returns and for some, the ideology of a decentralized financial system. But like a double-edged sword, the same factors that make cryptocurrencies attractive also introduce high levels of risk and volatility. It's like a financial roller coaster with thrilling highs and gut-wrenching lows. Prices of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have been known to skyrocket, only to plummet soon after. But here's the thing, over time, many of these digital assets have shown an overall upward trend. A recent study by Fidelity Digital Assets showed that if investors had allocated just 5% of their portfolio to Bitcoin, they would have significantly outperformed traditional investment strategies. Fascinating, isn't it? But before you dive in, remember this. Crypto is still a largely unregulated market, and it's not for the faint of heart. It's crucial to do thorough research and consider your risk tolerance before dipping your toes into these digital waters. So, is cryptocurrency a fleeting trend or the future of finance? Only time will tell, but for now, it certainly adds a twist to our journey to safeguard our wealth. 
Are you ready to continue this adventure? We have some compelling assets coming up that you won't want to miss. All right, folks, now let's talk about a modern day marvel in the investing world, the exchange traded funds, more commonly known as ETFs. Picture this, what if you could buy a single investment that gives you access to hundreds or even thousands of stocks or bonds? No, this isn't an illusion. This is precisely what ETFs bring to the table. An ETF is like a basket of various securities that you can buy or sell through a brokerage firm on a stock exchange. ETFs are offered on virtually every conceivable asset class from traditional investments to alternative assets like commodities or currencies. They offer a smooth blend of diversification, flexibility, and cost-effectiveness, making them a favorite among new and seasoned investors alike. Just imagine having the broad market exposure of a mutual fund with the added flexibility of being able to trade it like a single stock during market hours. Now that's something to chew on, isn't it? But don't take too long, we've got more exciting assets to discover on our journey to financial security. Next up, we're turning our focus to a special type of investment that lets you dive into real estate without getting your hands dirty with the nitty gritty of property management, real estate investment trusts, or REITs. Imagine being able to reap the benefits of investing in real estate without the hassles of becoming a landlord. Sounds like a dream. Well, REITs are here to make that dream a reality. REITs are companies that own, operate, or finance income generating real estate. They work somewhat like mutual funds, but for real estate. When you invest in a REIT, you're essentially buying shares of companies that own commercial real estate properties like office buildings, hotels, malls, and apartment buildings. These REITs make money from the rent collected from these properties, and by law, they are required to pay out at least 90% of their taxable income to shareholders as dividends. It's an appealing choice for investors looking for regular income streams and diversification in their portfolios. What makes REITs even more exciting is that they allow you to invest in a variety of real estate sectors that might otherwise be out of reach for average individual investors. And remember, like any other investment, REITs are not without risks, so always do your due diligence. So ready to become a virtual real estate tycoon? We got a couple more assets to explore, so hang on tight. Now let's navigate through our ninth asset, index funds. You may ask, why index funds? What makes them so special? Well, think of index funds as a mirror. They aim to mimic the performance of a specific index like the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ. In other words, they give you a little piece of all the companies listed in that index. It's like getting a sample platter of the stock market's greatest hits. Index funds are favored for their simplicity, broad market exposure, and low fees. They operate on a passive investing strategy, which means instead of trying to beat the market, they try to match it. And guess what? Over the long run, they often outperform actively managed funds. You see, beating the market consistently is a tough game, even for Wall Street pros. So why not join the market instead? What's more, index funds are a great way to diversify your portfolio. Instead of gambling on individual stocks, you get a broad cross-section of the market, which can help cushion the blow if one company or sector takes a hit. And the best part, you can start investing in index funds with a relatively small amount of money. So whether you're a first-time investor or a seasoned pro, index funds offer a straightforward, cost-effective way to grow your wealth. However, like any investment, it's always prudent to consider your financial goals and risk tolerance before diving in. We've now arrived at asset number 10, commodities. A break from the conventional investment vehicles, commodities take us back to the roots of trade and commerce. They include physical substances like gold, oil, natural gas, agricultural products, and more. These are essential goods used in global economies, independent of who produced them. Why include commodities in your portfolio, you ask? Well, they provide a hedge against inflation, often moving in the opposite direction of traditional assets, like stocks and bonds. For instance, when the stock market is in a downward spiral, commodities like gold often see price rises, acting as a counterbalance. In a sense, commodities can be your financial shock absorber, helping to stabilize returns when markets behave erratically. Moreover, as the global economy grows, so does the demand for these essential goods, driving up their value. But remember, investing in commodities can be a wild ride. Prices can be highly volatile due to factors like weather patterns, geopolitical tensions, and natural disasters. However, with strategic planning and a bit of resilience, investing in commodities can be a fruitful venture. That's all for our top 10 asset classes to consider for safeguarding your wealth. Remember, the journey to financial freedom isn't a race. It's about creating a diversified portfolio that aligns with your personal goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. Always do your research, stay informed, and consider consulting with a financial advisor for personalized advice. Don't forget to check out our other videos and thank you for watching.